good evening. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to the Geek's Handbag. I'll just switch my piano off. I'm going to be unboxing some Ghostbusters things today, so I thought I'd learn the theme on the old Joanna. Hello everybody, hi Isaac. What's this? What? I'm getting congratulations, this is my first video. Hi George. So, my first live video, and to be honest with you, um, I'm going to do a little unboxing just because I bought these Ghostbusters um, Titans and I thought I'd save them and unbox them for you guys. But also, I just wanted to have a little chat and just say hi and maybe show you a few things that I haven't had chance to review. Because I was looking around my room earlier and I've got a few things here on the old shelf of clutter that um, I've really wanted to review. For example, the neural block. There it is. Never got a chance to review it. So I'll have a little look at that later. There's the third box that's there. Uh, but yeah, just keeping it casual. So let's have a look at the comments. How are we all? Hi, thanks for tuning in. Uh, screen's gone a bit mental, so I can't really see the comments. Oh, there we go. Nice that you were playing the Ghostbusters scene. Thanks, Charlie. Hope you liked it. Uh, right, I'm just going to show you over here because I know I did a room tour video um, quite a while ago and I had a bit of a tidy up. So, I finally tidied up my Doctor Who DVDs. So, I've got all the box sets together and I've got all my classics there. So, there's a little blue and silver and gold Dalek down there. He's one of my favourites. And this is one of the things I want to talk about in this video because here's my big finish uh, collection, right? Um, I get asked quite a lot why I don't do big finish reviews uh, because I did a couple when I first started the channel uh, but I haven't done one for ages and there's a couple of reasons for this. Um, the first one is I find them a little bit laborious to do um, and they're very time consuming because uh, you have to listen to the audio a couple of times, make loads of notes to sort of do a proper in-depth review. And the other reason is um, there are some other people out there that do really, really good big finish review so I just kind of feel like I'm repeating what they're doing and they're probably doing a much better job so people like Host Productions does fantastic big finish reviews uh, TJ Productions also does really good big finish reviews um, so yeah there's plenty of other people out there that do them but it is something I get asked to do quite a lot but that's the reason I don't do them it's because basically I'm lazy uh, no it's because I really don't have the time and um, I'm, I've always got loads of videos unfinished unedited so I would rather sort of get them completed first if that makes sense so i hope that clears up uh, why i haven't done many big finish reviews because i'm sure you all know i absolutely love big finish there's some more look oh big finish doom coalition that's getting a bit of a mixed response isn't it let me know what you think of that i heard the third one's really good and i haven't got around to listening to it yet um and i also also have the new john hurt only the monstrous no War Doctor, that's what I'm trying to say, which I haven't got around to listening to either. Right, let's have a look at some of the comments then. So, uh, hello, Loopy Lou, thanks for joining. Um, I hope you caught the piano introduction at the start because I did that especially for you. Uh, hello, Lewis. Hello, Charlie. Let's see who else we've got in here. Hi, Isaac, thanks for saying my collection is amazing, mate. Um, if there's a guy that I'd like to meet. Oh, thanks. Who's that? Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. We've, we may well meet, actually, Charlie, because I'm going to the uh, Our Disappearing Planet thing um, in two weeks' time, uh, on the 20th. And I believe you're going, so I might see you there, mate. Uh, hi, Joseph. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for tuning in. So let's have a little look on this shelf. Of oh, Lou, you missed the piano. Ah, Lou. I may go back to it later on, uh, but if not, watch it. Watch it on there. On the, on the video thing. Right, I'm going to have a look along this shelf of clutter and just pick out a few bits that I've bought, wanted to review, but didn't get a chance to review. So let's start with the old neural block then, because you've, you've all seen the confession dial and the confession dial is just stunning. I did a review of that. It's really, really nice. This is the neural block, which um, one of the reasons I didn't review it is because I couldn't think of enough things to say about it, apart from the fact is, it's really nice. <laughs> and that's literally it. I just, I thought, well, it'll be a really short review because I can just show it to you like I am now. But what else can I say about it? It's really nice. It's quite weighty. It's got some good detail on it. I've always gone about the detail. So there it is. That is the neural block. That's how it comes in this nice little box. Doctor on the bottom. And that's from Rubberto Reculus. 
So that's one of the things I didn't get to review. Uh, this is another one which is really great, right? This used to be quite a lot of money and I think they found a load of stock of it. And now you can get in for around about 16 or 17 pounds. If you see this come up for that price, I just really recommend getting it, the second Doctor statue figure. It is absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best things I've got. I absolutely love it. Um, I think I paid about $16.95 for him. So he's one of my favorite things. And look, he comes with free dust. So there we are. Um, I think most of this stuff is just figures and it's getting very cluttered. You've all seen the old Sonic. It's always in the background of my videos. Uh, moving up, there's Sid. Say hello, Sid. Right, how are you evening? There's Sid the Drashig. Um, Those of you that listen to the Big Blue Box podcast that I do with Gary will know that Gary doesn't like the Drashigs. I know, cover your ears, Sid. Who doesn't love a Drashig? Look at him. He's fantastic. I absolutely love him. So, yeah, you've always got to have a Drashig in your room. Right, so, yeah, there's the Drashig. He's up there looking along. New class books. Uh, have any of you guys picked these up yet? I haven't had a chance to read them, but here they're very good. What are you guys making of class? Um, me and Gary recorded this week's podcast today and I I have really wanted to like this series. In fact, I liked the first episode. I thought second episode was OK. Third episode was really slow. I really didn't enjoy this week's episode, but I know a lot of people did. Um, and we were trying to work out, you know, what, 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 what I was missing this week. So let me know. Loopy Lou, she loves class. Lou. This week's though, it was just like killer flower petals. What? Anyway, I'm obviously it's a two-parter, so we'll wait and see what the second part's like. Right, just gonna take a second to look at the comments, and instead of showing you my ugly mug while I do it, I'll turn it around so you can shelf a clutter. So what we got? Hello, Jamie. Hello. Hello, Dean. Uh, hello, Callum. Right, just wanted to ask you about that. Are you staying at the full event? Um, it's uh, Charlie wants to know if I'm staying for the full event at the Copthorn uh, thing. Yes, I'll be there till quite late, I should think. Um, are those big toe replicas or whatever they're called? They're awesome. Um, are you talking about these? They're not... The, oh, rubber toe, rubber toe replicas you mean. Sorry, yes, yes, they are rubber toe replicas. Um, I thought you were on about the figures. I thought you meant like Big Chief. Uh, which is something I've always got my eye on, the Big Chief stuff. But amazingly, never managed to get any of it. Um, I would quite like the 12th Doctor. And I know he's just been reduced, but um, I'm trying to save money. But um, yeah, I like the Big Chief stuff. The thing I would have loved to have got, which I didn't get, was the um, festival exclusive of the 12th Doctor in the in the brown jacket, which I know Ben Lett got, which which was lovely. Um, but I don't know, they're a bit pricey and they are something I think you have to treat yourself to now and again. So at some point I may pick them up, but I haven't got any of the Big Chief stuff yet. But I do like the Rubber Toe stuff, uh, which, um, yeah, I've only got these two pieces so far. Uh, I'd really like to get the Siege Motardis and what's the other thing I want? Oh, Clothes Confession Dial. I'd like to get the Clothes Confession Dial. Um, so, yeah. There's the old, there's a couple of remote, these are the remote control Sonics, by the way. I don't actually use them as remote controls, they're just on the old shelf there. So yeah, I was going on about the novels. Uh, I've got all the Lethbridge Stewart ones there, apart from missing the Havoc Files 1, which um, sells for about 50 quid on eBay, so that's a bit distressing. These guys, I picked these up at the weekend. I tell you, they are absolutely beautiful. These new reissues of these novels, you've got to get these, I tell you. Just just for the covers alone, and also they've got really nice artwork inside. I was really pleased to get these. I, I love the old style of novel. Typically that one's, I can't really... Okay, well you get the idea, it's got some nice artwork in there. That one's got about two pictures, but the other one's got lots more in, so I really recommend getting those. Um, they're pretty cheap on Amazon as well, I think they're about 6 99 Really, really nice. Why is... Why is that the wrong way though? My OCD doesn't like that. I'm assuming the original was like that and they just decided to keep it. Blake 7, if you haven't watched Blake 7, watch it. It's absolutely brilliant and very dated and all the sets wobble, but it's brilliant, so yeah. TARDIS, 
of course. Uh, there's the unboxings, I'll, I'll get to them in a bit. Um, these are, if you're thinking, well, these have been out ages, they haven't. This is Series 2 of the Ghostbusters. Um, I'm guessing they're based on Ghostbusters 2, but uh, I, it's so long ago that I watched Ghostbusters 2 that I actually can't remember half the characters that are on this box. Um, so that would be interesting, but I'll open those up with you in a minute. Um, here's something else I want to show you. Right, there's Ted, he swears. Now let's hopefully he won't say anything too bad. Hey, honey, how about a beer, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, here's something else that I wanted to review but didn't get a chance. And um, a few people have asked about this book, right? It's bizarre. Um, I really like it. But um, yeah, a few people have asked about this book. So rather than trying to explain it, I'm just going to show you the pictures inside. Um, I would have liked to review this. I just, I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's just the most unusual Doctor Who book there is, I think. Which is a good thing, because to be fair, there are so many Doctor Who books out there that, you know, it's getting a bit boring. So this one does something a bit different. It's just loads of crazy facts and nice diagrams. And it's, it's pretty cool, but it won't be for everybody. But I really like it. So yeah. So for anybody that was asking me about the Doctor Who Graphica, is it worth getting? If you can get it for a reasonable price, um, yeah, I think I paid twelve ninety nine for it, sixty ninety nine on the back. It's it's a nice book, but it is a bit strange. Just gonna put that back up there. There's the old history collection that coming along very nicely, taking up that entire wall. I love these books. Um, my partner goes mad every time they turn up because uh, because it's quite a big collection. But I love them. I think they're brilliant. K9. Right, so I'll look at a few more of the comments then. So, let's have a look. Let's show you that one. The Troughton is lovely, Lewis. He's really worth the money. So, you're all enjoying class, are you? Isaac really enjoyed class. Is that this week's Isaac? Enjoyed it, but F4 was very disappointing, yes. Neil, you feel like you're too old for class? I don't relate to the characters. Still need to catch up with class. Really didn't enjoy it. Christopher, hi, you didn't enjoy this week's class. Class, mixed bag, it was a bit different from the other week's Marvel. I can't let you. Is there any chance of me to put the London Forbidden Planet? I'm always in Forbidden Planet, all the time. Can I just say that you have the nicest smile? <laughs> I have the nicest smile, sir. Um, th thank you very much for saying that because um, I've got really crooked teeth and I'm always quite aware of it. So <laughs> thank you for saying I have a nice smile because uh, I get quite um, hung up about that. I should have had them corrected. I didn't as a kid and uh, I sometimes regret it. So thanks for that. Um, to the person who said they are feeling too old for class, I can slightly relate to that because when I went to the premiere, that's one thing I was really worried about, that everybody there was going to be young and trendy and cool and there'd just be me, this old Doctor Who fan, turning up and everybody would be like, what's he doing here? This show isn't for him. Um, and I, thankfully, one of the good things about Doctor Who community is we kind of embrace everybody and anything that's different. And, and so I didn't feel like that. And watching the first episode, I didn't feel like that either. I really quite enjoyed it. But I have to say, after watching episode four, I did feel that I was too old for it. Because, again, I saw so many positive comments from people out there who were just loving it. And I just didn't enjoy this week's at all. And I did wonder if it's because I'm just a grumpy old git. I thought maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's not aimed at me after all. Um, but I am going to stick with it because I'm still enjoying it. I still like the characters. Um, I, I really like um, uh, Ram. Uh, I want to call him Faddy. I actually like the name Faddy. Better than Ram. I think he should use his real name. Uh, I like him. I know he's. I know he's a bit of an arrogant character, but um, I like him. And he was so skinny when I met him at the premiere. I literally could put my hand around him. I could feel his heartbeat. But he's a really nice guy. Uh, in fact, all the cast are really nice. Right. Let's have a look at some of the comments. Dean, I'm sorry you can't make the uh, Tenth Planet event in a couple of weeks, mate, because it would have been good to see you. Um, Callum Granger. Hi, Callum. Owen Salmons, I know you you absolutely loving class, Owen, so uh, I, I no need to ask your opinion of it. Owen, for the record, is not enjoying it. Um, let's have a look. 
Ghostbusters 2 is underrated, says Lewis Palmer. Well, Lewis, I really wanted to watch it around um, Halloween time. It was going to be because it's on our Skybox or whatever, so I can watch it for free. And um, I just never got around to it. So I really must watch Ghostbusters 2 because I can't remember it at all. Um, I think I loved the original so much that my memories of the second one are that it wasn't as good. And it, In fact, I don't remember it being very good at all. But I think I definitely need to give it a rewatch, so I'll do that. Your shelves look so neat. I'm glad you said that, Loopy Lou, because I only the other night was getting a real ear bashing about how untidy the house is because of all my stuff. So I'm glad that you think it looks tidy. Um, Isaac, you're enjoying class in general, good. Paul Burns, hi Paul, you you didn't enjoy this week's class. I saw that on your Facebook. Um, yeah, I didn't didn't get it either. Right, uh, I do have crooked tea flu. Matthew Ross, hi Matthew, thanks for joining. What's my partner's opinion on Doctor Who collection? Uh, Callum, my partner gets driven mad by it, quite frankly. Um, yeah, I think it's because I've got so much, and to be fair, it does dominate the entire house. So, um, yeah, not not over impressed by Doctor Who collection, to be honest, just because you literally can't walk down the stairs without almost falling over a Dalek. And if you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. They're just shoved everywhere. Um, so yeah, my partner's not over happy about it. Um, my phone's coming up storage full. That could be because this is saving. Okay, so let's keep looking through the comments. <laughs> I did feel Faddy's heartbeat because he was, at the premiere, he was just like really hyped. So yeah. Um, right. Okay. I my for some reason my th phone's coming up memory full. Now I don't know if it's because it's trying to record this live video or what. So I'll do the unboxing. So at least I get that done, and then I'll just carry on waffling on and and chatting to you guys uh, until the phone explodes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Let's go. Radio. Oh yes. I've sort of come prepared. Right. So, let's have a look at these. Th these have literally just been released. This is the I Ain't Afraid No Ghosts Titan figures. You guys know I love my Titans, right? So I've got two of these. Uh, you've got all your main cast, including Slimer in his chauffeur hat. I remember that bit in the film. Um, and then on this side, these are the guys I don't remember, but I am loving... Oh, sorry, you can't see. I am loving the look of Nuzio, or whatever he's called. Can you see him? I want him. don't know if this is heavy enough. Who's this? Janine, don't remember her. Tully, don't remember her. Dana, of course, I remember, but not looking like that. So anyway, let's let's see who we've got. Hopefully I'll get two different ones, because I've only bought two of these. I had really good luck with Series 1 of the uh, Ghostbusters Titans. Give it a quick feel. What's the name of that one I want? New, New Zio. New Zio. Could it be New Zio? Or will it be a useless character from Ghostbusters 2 that I've never heard of? Where's the old tag? Here we go then. Yeah, oh, it's a, well, it's a Ghostbuster. Oh, look, it's um, Harold Ramis. What was he called in it? Uh, Tully, it says on the thing. Um, oh, you can't see, sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, he's really cool. Do you remember him? Honey, I shrunk the kids guy. Yeah, I like him. I don't remember him being called Tully though. Okay, he can just go there. Well, that's a good start. I'm happy with him, because at least I know who he is. Let's do the second one. Who is Janine? I don't remember her at all. Right. Always open your Titan boxes from the bottom because they look neater when you reseal them. Okay, this one feels. Oh, it's. Uh, I could tell straight away what this is. It's the uh, X01 car because I can feel the wheels. Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's quite neat actually. Got the Ghostbusters two thing on the side. Yeah, that's all right. Quite happy with that. I have got. I have got the car from the first series, so I guess this is just a. Slight repaint, but no, that's cool. I'm happy with that. So there you go. There's the two figures I got. Can you see Pat in the background, by the way? I picked this little chap up from eBay for a couple of quid. Look at him. Look at him. Owen Salmons, if you're still watching, I know you've fallen out of love with the Titans, but look at him. He's brilliant. How can you not love that, Patrick Chanter? There's some figures up there. Look, it's the Melka. Love this guy. Love the Melka. And Mr. Sin. And bizarrely, the Invisible Man. So yeah, and there's the old Ape Doctor, which apparently became quite hard to get. So I understand. 
Um, I really don't like what they've done to him in the 13th Doctor set. I've got to tell you, this, it looks like somebody's thrown tomatoes in his face. Um, talking of which, I have got that down here. Yes. This way. You'll have to let me know. Is this better? Um, so, yeah, 13th Doctor set has arrived. There's the old version. Let you want to compare? Here's the old version, the 11 Doctor set. I think I prefer this guys. You may not, might not agree with me, but I think this is a cracking set. Look at that. It's a beauty. I just because I just love that Tom. I think he looks great in the coat. So that's that's the old classic set. No paint splodges. It was back in the day when they actually took care to make the figures look good. Um, here's the new set. I see even the box I think is better on the old one. Look at that. It's like a BM set. Right. Here's the new set. I'm sure you've all seen it a thousand times, so there's not going to be anything you haven't seen in here before. Paint app wise, mine was okay ish. One thing that really annoys me, and you won't be able to see it in this terrible light, is the first Doctor's monocle. It looks alright on camera, but believe me, when you see the actual thing, they've missed the mark by a mile. It's halfway up his chest, it's nowhere near painted where it should be, and it really bugs me. But yeah, there's a few things. There's glue on Pertwee's jacket, there's a blotch on the seventh doctor's neck capaldi's got a great big boil on his nose it's yeah it's not it's a bit disappointing to be honest but there we are there's the 13th doctor to be honest i am just pleased to have it i'm not gonna get it replaced or anything but uh yeah i still like the original and if you're wondering what this is do you remember these yeah see yeah, lots of hearts here yeah, because it's the little Doctor Who micro figures. They were cool before Lego got their greedy little hands on them. Look at that. I actually really like these. I'm going to get these in a better light. Look at that. I like them. So, yeah. So, there we go. Right, guys. I don't know if there's anything else I can show you that you haven't already seen. Let me turn it back and read some of your comments. Where's my stick? Hi Tom Robinson. Right, just going to have a look back at the comments before I uh, go and have my dindins. What Doctor Who item and episode did you find disappointing? One episode I found incredibly disappointing was Nightmare in Silver. I just, uh, sorry, I know Loopy Lou loves that episode. I just cannot get into that that episode at all. And Doctor Who item did I find disappointing? Um, I haven't got it to hand, but, um, hang on. You know these things? These boxes? They did a sonic screwdriver that was about this big in a box like this. And it was just absolutely terrible. And it was about 7 99 so I remember feeling very disappointed when I opened that. Um, this stuff up here, hang on. Let's turn around. This stuff up here, by the way, is, um... Is some Titan stuff. There's some Sherlock stuff, and uh, there's the new Doctor Who Funkos, which I did a video on. Uh, Davros. This is a new one though. I've I've sort of limited my spending on Funko Pops, but I couldn't resist picking him up because um, I thought he was really cool. And he was in Toys R Us. Yeah, I, I like him, but he's up there at the minute because I've got nowhere else to put him. So yeah, right. Just have a look through the other comments. Uh, do I prefer Sarah Jane Adventures or Class George? Um, I would say at the minute Sarah Jane Adventures um, just Because I thought they handled the um, I just thought they were more middle-of-the-road so it wasn't it was it appealed to both children and adults um, So it's an easier watch is what I'm trying to say whereas I think class is very much the young adult audience So it's a bit more um, yeah, it's a bit more aimed just at that one specific. So yeah, I would probably say I enjoy Sarah Jane Avengers more. But obviously we've still got four episodes of class to go. Who knows? The finale could be amazing. How much do I pay for Dr. Brown? Nine ninety nine from Toys R Us. I wouldn't pay a penny more. Let's go have a look. Hello, Liv Bart Bartley. Hello, Liv. I, I love Liv. And I'm glad you're back on the Who Addicts, Liv. Because it just wasn't the same without you. Uh, hello, Louise Palmer. Oh, that's you, Loopy Lou. You always confuse me with your double thingies. 
Yeah, cool. So, um, guys, I'm probably going to go and have my dinner in a bit. Um, if you want to ask me any questions in the last couple of minutes, then please do. Um, I'm just going to scroll back up the questions. So sorry if I've missed any questions. Uh, I've just been trying to keep things flowing for you guys. So it's not too boring. Um, just while you think of any last questions, I will show you something else I've just bought. Because Christmas is coming, guys. And I've got this nice Lovazzi scarf and hat. Because when you haven't got any hair, you need hats. So, um, yeah, I've got my winter stuff sorted, ready to go. Oh, I've just realised. I haven't showed you, I haven't even showed you the bag. Yeah. There's a few new badges. From last time. So we've got both Blue Peter badges now. Because you guys know this is based on Ace's jacket from Doctor Who, right? There's Loopy Lou's lovely bag charms. Thank you, Lou. Um, what have we got? I've got a Blake 7 badge on there. Ace. Yeah. Finally get a decent look at the bag. Right, just check the last questions before I go and have my dinner. Oh, I've realised I'm halfway up. Let's have a look. It's the bag. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice scarf, Helen. Really nice. Um, well worth getting. I think it's like 19 99 Yeah, it's the bag. Uh, Greg Taylor. Hi, Greg. Yes, I am coming to ODP. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, in fact, the next two weekends are going to be brilliant because this weekend coming, um, Noel Clark's doing a signing in FP. So I'm hoping to meet him. And on the same day, the man that I've been absolutely dying to meet forever... Bernard Cribbins is doing a signing in Westminster, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to FP and shoot to Westminster to meet Bernard, because Wilf, I think, is one of the best characters from New Who. I just, I just, I love Bernard Cribbins, so I'm really hoping to meet him. And then following weekend, yeah, our Disappearing Planet event uh, with Tom Baker, Caroline Ford and William Russell are going to be there. So I've, got, I've already bought a joint photo with the two of them, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, lots of good stuff coming up next two weekends. Right, just checking the old thing. Oh, Dean, you nearly got the Doc Brown. Get him, he's really good. Hello, Adam Fishwick, Time Lord. Hello, Greg. Right, next two weekends are busy for me. Saturday is a birthday. Whose birthday is it? Lewis, uh, when's your birthday? Saturday. Have a great birthday, mate. Happy birthday to you for Saturday. And then you're off to Birmingham. Yeah, cool. What, where is that signing with Cribbins? It's in, Bernard Cribbins is doing a signing in the Westminster Film Fair, I think it's called, in Westminster. So, yeah, definitely worth checking him out. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to go and have a bit of dinner. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the unboxing. Um, hope you enjoyed the, uh, what do you call it, whistle-stop reviews of the book and anything. Um, if I find anything else that I think would be good to review... I'll let you know. And I also want to start doing more live videos. Um, I really loved it when the Who Addicts guys uh, did their, um, what do they call them, the, the, where they sit and watch the episode and do like a live commentary. I thought they were brilliant. Um, I'd quite like to do some of those, maybe with uh, Adam, the ultimate Whovian, because that would be fun. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully I'll do some more live videos. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first one. And before I go, let me just see. I can find something on here. See the big Lego, Ed? He's cool. I've been editing um, the Power of the Daleks premiere video all day because I've been off today. And um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. I'm really going to try and get it out for Friday. Uh, it's, it was quite quite good fun, so hopefully you'll like that. Right, let's find out this. Faves. Yeah, got it. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good rest of your evening. And um, I'll see you soon. And I can't leave without playing this. I'll do a whistle stop rune saw while it's playing.
Bye.